It's good to know that I chose the right answer, and I, you know, just faked myself out with some... What are you expecting? I make that noise every time. If we have any puzzles here. Ernagustus Reinhold. Laura Reinhold. Oh my gosh, it's on the stairs. Are you trying to poison me? What are these vile things? You oaf, some butler you are. I'm so sorry, sir. I detest sweets. The very sight of them turns my stomach. Get that plate out of here at once. Oh yes, but of course. Hmm. Ah, Leighton, there you are. You requested our presence, Inspector Chelmy. My sources tell me you've been out snooping about and interfering in my case. Just what are you up to? It certainly wasn't my intention to interfere in your case. However, a few things don't make sense. Leave the investigating to the police and go chase after that golden apple or whatever it is. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'll find Simon's killer if, uh, of that you can be sure. Now, unless you have something else to say, I've got work to do here. Understood. Good day, sir. An inspector has some nerve dismissing us like that. Like I said before, I don't like him one bit. Hmm. What do you say we go ask Ramon about yesterday, Luke? You got a puzzle for me, dog? Professor, you just simply have to help me. I've got another puzzle in my hands I can't solve. As a man of the world, you know there's nothing women find more luring than competence. <laughs> I'm counting on you, sir. Don't do me into a eternal bachelorhood. Oh, boy. Right. The cross shape on the pin board below has nine pins inside it and 16 outside it. Remember that example because now it's your turn to construct a shape on the board and you create a cross that has 17 pins inside it and 16 outside it. Feel free to make your cross any size you like. Okay, I feel like this is a diagonal um, quiz. Make sure there's no confusion. Alrighty, so I need 17 inside. One, well, one, two, three, six, nine, twelve, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Can I, can I do it? Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. First try? First try? That should do it. 
first try. Critical See, the key for that success. one, I knew that based off of the cat puzzle, you know, I just needed to think, like, just a little bit warped, you know? Not, not exactly the way the game wants you to think. Because they want you to think, hey, or, hey, you know, a cross is going to be straight up or whatever, but no. Do a diagonal. Diagonally, and you got it. Thanks, old boy. With this puzzle solved, I feel I've drawn one step closer to the altar. <laughs> oh, dear. Clayton, you need to know what time it is. You got a puzzle for me? Professor, how fortunate that you're here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask of you. Please, madam, ask away. I'm happy to come to your aid in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Would you solve this puzzle for me? Though I'm not filling up to the challenge, it won't solve itself. A father and son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son and says, You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age, but still, that's pretty amazing, eh? If the father is 44 years old, how old is the mother? It's another one of these. Okay, so there was a time when your mother when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Next year, one and a half times. Okay, so out but father is 44 years old at one point mother was 22 years old then uh, mom plus one would be 23 and one and a half times doesn't work out that way actually She's 23, that would make her 46, doubled? Um, 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 um. I just gotta look at the timer, you know, just to double check. Um. I mentioned I'm really bad at math puzzles. This would mean father one point There was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age. Still, that's pretty amazing. So... One and a half. So, like, if we use, for example, like, uh, like 20. Okay. He's 20, half the age of the mom would be 10, and then if you add 1, that's 11. 
1.5 of that would be 30, which would be kind of close. But not quite. Or quite. Uh, quite. So, uh, what if I... That's working in two, so let's work in an odd number here. Let's work on a three. So... I don't know, uh, 18, father was 18, mom would be 9, add 1, that's 10, okay, 1.5 would be 27, doesn't work, what's the difference in calculations here? So, let me just do this as 16 and see where I'm going here. Okay, that would be 8. Add 1 would be 9. Okay, and then 1 and a half would be 24. Am I making any sense? Well, that's going down by 3 every age. So... If I did an odd number, like 15, half that would be seven and a half, plus one would be eight and a half. I feel like there's a fraction in here. It, it just seems like a fraction. Okay, and then one point. Have I been going about this the wrong way? Make sure it was only one and a half time. This would be uh, 16. Half of that would be six. No, that would be four. Doesn't work. Let's do father's age as nine. Mom would be 4.5. Add one would be 5.5. One and a half would be uh, 4.5, so 13.5. Doesn't work out. Doesn't work out. I feel like a fraction. They do they let me put in fraction. Okay, so uh, they do not let me put in fraction. So it needs to come out to a whole number. Means I need to probably stick with even numbers and round numbers. Uh, maybe just actually even numbers. So if we just put in 22 for giggles, we have 22, we have 11, we have 12, one and a half. I think I have been doing this the wrong, wrong way. You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. So if he was, if he was 44, she would be 22. Then the next year he was one and a half times her age. But he would, he would gain a year as well. That's what I have not been taking into account. Aha, so maybe it is an odd number.
because if well if it was 22 we go to 12 we add one to him which would be 23 so uh half of 23 is the uh, 11.5 that would be 33.5 Doesn't work. Let's try 15 again. Fifteen would be seven and a half, eight and a half would be sixteen would be it just doesn't make any sense. Let's use a hint. We're running out of time here. You just need to find the difference between the father's age and the mother's age. At what ages are the two parents separated by two times the age of mother? There's only one point where the father's age can change from twice mother's age to 1.5 times the mother's age after one year. There's only one point. So if I roll with, we'll just roll with three. Dang, okay. half that is 1.5, plus one is 2.5. Okay, uh, increase that by one, because the father gets one too. And so that would be four. And then one and a half would be six. Or is it, or is it, why don't we just uh, bust out the calculator real quick. I'm gonna get this puzzle too. Yeah, okay, I was, I was calculating that right. Math is hard. Okay, so six is not one and a half times uh, 2.5. It is not. Actually. Actually. It is not. What if I did six and we'd have three, then we'd have four, then we would add one. So the father's age would be seven. Oh my gosh, this bird. Uh, uh, <laughs> seven be 3.5. 10.5 What if I did 5 instead? I'd have 5 2.5 would be 7.5 that would be two. Two exactly. No. No? Three? Three. So... I need to go downwards? So if we go to four... And she's two, then she's three, add one is five, one and a half that is 7.5, uh, 6.5, no, five, 7.5. How does that work out? 
How does that come out to the same thing? Did I do this one wrong? It goes to six. That would be... That would be nine. That would be nine. Ripping. Ripping. So then... That doesn't seem to work out either. So two, one, two. You would go to three. That would be 4.5. I should not be playing puzzle games. Okay. 1, 0.5, 1.5, you're at 2.5. I don't know. I don't know. Too much guesswork. For the father's age to change from twice the mother's age to 1.5 times the mother's age in one year, both parents would have to be very young at the time. Very, very young. And that's that's kind of where I like I went down to age one, you know? Um And like, if I added a year to that one, that would be two. That would be exactly double. If I did zero, half of zero is zero. Add one year is one. Add one to that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And so, well, no, that, that can't work. That can't work, right? That can't work. All right, well, I've exhausted all my time. No, oh, I forgot to actually bring this up, so. Bring this up right now. And this over here. All right, we're on uh, 63. I hope you're gonna hedge your bets. We'll go ahead and look at the, the very last hint. Uh, when the mother was one year old, <laughs> that's the, the final hint. Alrighty. The answer is four, D3. That should do it. I don't know. Math puzzles are hard. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right. The mother is 43 years old. When the boy's father was two years old, his mother was one. The next year, he turned three and she turned two. When you realize this is the only combination of ages that yield the ratios mentioned in the problem. Everything starts to make sense. 4.5 and 2? No. Did I do two years old? I did do two years old. He turns three. And then you add, yeah, so 4.5. Two times one and a half. Whatever. 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 What a relief. I can finally stop thinking about that silly puzzle. You have my thanks. Splendid painting. Only Layton will enjoy the splendidness of said painting. Right, I'm guessing you don't have a puzzle for me because you're just Mr. Angry Face. Layton, you have some skill at puzzles, solving puzzles, yes? I once cracked a case by solving a puzzle left behind on a note I found hidden at the crime scene. Let's see how you fare again. My eyes are so dry. Alright, here we go. A detective who was mere days from cracking an international smuggling ring, has suddenly gone missing. While inspecting his last known location, you find a note. 
The note appears to be nothing more than a series of numbers, but your gut instinct tells you that this note will reveal the name of the crime kingpin. Currently, there are three suspects in the case, Bill, John, and Todd. Can you break the detective's code and find the criminal's name? Hmm. So my answer is Bill, and it's because I think if you just flip it around, it says, uh, Bill is boss, he sells oil? That's what I'm gonna go with? This is kind of silly, if, if that's it. That should do it. <laughs> Another puzzle oh my goodness. <laughs> That's right. If you flip the note upside down, you'll notice that the numbers resemble letters and that those letters form legible sentences. The message recorded there is Bill is boss, he sells oil. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Impressive, Mr. Layton. Seems the rumors touting your skill weren't totally unfounded. But don't go getting any ideas. Do the smart thing and leave the detective work to me. In the meantime, you can occupy yourself by searching for the golden apple. I haven't been getting any gizmos. I just I get to build that or something. Oh, I could save. Let's save. Saving is good. Let's get everybody's puzzle there. Get the stepping. Oh well, look who it is. Good day, Ramon. How are you feeling today? But as a fiddle now, Professor. Perhaps even as vivacious as a violin. That awful fatigue from last week seems like it never happened. As you can see, I'm bursting with energy and my skin is soft as a baby's. I feel like a teenager again. Is that so? That's good to hear. He doesn't seem to remember what happened yesterday, does he? He has no idea what happened. So what's our next move? We shall ins respect the inspector's wishes and leave the murder case alone, Luke. It's as Inspector Chelmy said, solving crime is the police's job. Besides, something tells me that this case and the Golden Apple are more related than we suspect. That's that intuition of yours talking again, isn't it, Professor? First and foremost, we need to find a clue that will bring us closer to the Golden Apple. Perhaps one of the Baron, one of Baron Reinhold's relations or close friends can help point us in the right direction. Of course, there's also someone else. Let's see if the family butler has anything to say on the subject. The hunt begins! Where are we at? I'm gonna go grab my eggnog real quick. Just hang tight. Okay, hang tight.
delicious, delicious eggnog. And let's go chat with the butler. Back so soon, Professor. Matthew, I was wondering if you knew anything that could point us in the direction of the Golden Apple. Anything you know would be a great help. For example, did the Baron say anything before he passed away? So sorry to disappoint you, Professor, but the Master never said anything of the sort to me. I'd very much like to help you in your search, but my duties here prevent me from leaving the grounds. Only Ingrid was around to provide some assistance. I beg your pardon, sir. Ingrid? It's been years since she left, but Ingrid used to work as a servant in the mansion. She was Flora's nurse. She often helped me with my work. Matthew. Yes, madam, I'll be right there. Please excuse me, sir, the lady calls. If you're curious about Ingrid, why not pay her a visit and talk to her yourself? Let's see, at this time of day, I'd imagine she's out walking around by the general store. Please do me a favor and tell her that Matthew sends his regards. Certainly, I'll be sure to pass on your message. Thank you for all your help, Matthew. Isn't Ingrid that sweet old lady we passed by before? Indeed, we also saw her at, in that picture of young Flora. Come, Luke. Let's go find the old girl. Off we go, then. The general store is just outside the mansion, right? We'll be there in no time. Unless she gets murdered. Can I pause it for me? We're in chapter four now. I'd like to be left alone for a little while, Professor. I need some time to collect my thoughts. I am breaking things. Alright, so it doesn't look like they have anything even though we're in a new chapter. Oh dear, I'm stumped again. And I just know I'll never find a bride of my own if I don't solve this puzzle. I'll spend my golden years alone with only the smell of cats and ribbon candy to keep me company. I beseech you, Professor, help me solve this puzzle. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Here we go. You have a single sheet of balsa wood, as shown in the diagram below. Your job is to cut the wood along the dotted line so that you end up with four identical pieces. The pieces may face different directions, but they must not be mirrored versions of each other. What? So by mirrored, I'm guessing it's meaning like if you were to cut here, for example, and then cut here, you know, these would be mirrored and these would be mirrored and these would be mirrored. So, you know, they, they wouldn't want that because, you know, that would be too easy. So how do I get four pieces that look the same? And 
it isn't mirrored. That's a tough one. Just uh, experimenting. Almost hit submit. And terrible news. So I need to do something like this, where they're like they're flipped. Yep. And then I guess over here I'd have to make it the exact same thing. to something this maybe I need to figure out this kind of first doesn't work. What if I did this? That would work. Like so. wouldn't work. Then I have these extra spots right there. Hmm. Uh, we can spend a hint coin. The puzzle would be a lot easier if you were allowed to use mirror versions of the shape as well. Since you can't though, here's a hint to get you started on the right track. Don't start off by dividing the wood into two pieces straight through the middle. Thanks. Not what I'm trying to do.
Can't go diagonal. Had to make sure of that. Doesn't work. Four identical pieces. Running out of time here. I just don't see it. Try another hint. Have you ever seen a standard office staple? Well, that's the shape you're looking to cut out here, except it'll be a bit longer in the middle than your standard staple. So this is potentially the shape that it's looking for. Not really sure how to... Bert. Shape like that. That wasn't even a shape I was thinking of. All right. That one was a tough one. That's right. Once you got the shape of the pieces, it wasn't too difficult. But it wasn't all that easy to find them within the wood, was it? No, it was not. Oh, happy day. With that puzzle out of the way, I'm confident that no woman will be able to resist me. I'll be bidding my loneliness goodbye before I know it. Poor guy. Give the mysterious bottle to him. He's a detective in training, so if he dies, you know, nobody will, will miss him. I don't like that noise. I feel like my computer is dying or something. Lady Dahlia sure is gorgeous, ain't she? Yep, sure is. 
What a dish. What a doll. What a honey. Gals like that are pretty rare, I tell you. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, man. Alright, away. 